So what's what's like uh, your regular uh, day in the life of Jordan Moore? What, uh, <laughs> what exactly happens? Nothing much. Work. <laughs> work. What's your favorite thing to do at work? Uh, stock tampons. Stock and tampons, yeah. It's fun. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> What would you say is uh, the secret to your success? Rock and roll. <laughs> Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. And uh, anything else? Beetlejuice. Yep. And semen. <laughs> <laughs> and pizza. <laughs> and school. <laughs> and chicken. And poop. <laughs> <laughs> and beef. What about pork? Pork? No. Fish. Fish. And rock and roll. And rock and roll? <laughs> yeah. What do you think about uh, the uh, the topic of this documentary, uh, Jordan Moore? Well, I think it's probably one of the most fabulous and interesting topics that is going to face the American public this year, personally. Um, what, uh, what do you think uh, is the most interesting part of that issue? Of Jordan? Mm. His personality. Okay. His, uh, um, Jordan is he's a very odd little boy. He's very funny. I think his personality will win the hearts of millions, personally. Is there uh, an, uh, a little-known story that not many people know about Jordan that you could share with us? I don't think I've known him long enough to be able to have a very interesting story. I know that he went to our music appreciation class dressed as a Brokeback Mountain person, so that was pretty funny. Well, I think that's all we need to know. All right. So we appreciate your help. Thank you. <laughs> Rock and roll! To gain a better perspective on the subject of Jordan Moore, I am here at the White House with an exclusive interview with Wes White. So, uh, the first thing I have to ask is, uh, how long have you known Jordan? Oh, we've known each other since about kindergarten. Uh, what is he like as a friend? He, he's always a fun time. We, we, we always have fun and uh, laugh. Lots of laughs, lots of uh, good time, laughter. Yes. Uh, what kind of laughter would you say? The funny kind. The okay. kind that you enjoy laughing. Is, is, it, is it like a Pee Wee Herman kind of laugh? Uh, Every once in a while. Yes. What, uh, does, does, does he have a tendency to burp? Have you noticed? Or, he's he's burped before. Uh, but it has, on a uh, on a regular occasion, is it like a belching kind of? Um, is he... No, not really. Mm -hmm. Not much belching. Okay. 
Um, you were you were together uh, for a long time in a band uh, called Zach and the Limes. Uh, what was he like to work with um, in that band? He always did his part in pissing Zach off, which was the main focus and our main goal as a band. Jordan did well with that. Uh, could you tell us a story that uh, maybe not many people might know about Jordan? <clears throat> a story that many people may not know. He really wants a monkey. What would he do with a monkey? It would run around. I'm not sure a story that many people wouldn't know, because Jordan usually tells everybody everything. And uh, how do you feel about Lauren, uh, his wife? Why? <laughs> She's pretty cool. I don't get to see, we don't hang out much, but that's probably be, probably because she uh, lives in Carbondale. If there's one thing that you could say to uh, our audience at home about Jordan, uh, what might that be? World of Warcraft. That's it. Thanks, Wes. There he is. No Jorcraft today. Ah, ah. Okay, I'm getting ready to uh, interview Doug about uh, about Jordan Moore. And uh, my first question I have is, uh, how long have you known Jordan? Ten years or so. Uh, what is he like as a friend? He's a prick. <laughs> yes. You're filming me right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I am here in the uh, downtown area of Pinckneyville, Illinois, uh, interviewing uh, Kyle uh, Kyle Halfaker. And uh, yes, we uh, we are rolling. Um, my first question I have to you is, uh, how long have you known uh, Jordan Moore? Oh, since since the day we met, we've been we've known each other for since for quite a while. I mean, he's always he's always been been there whenever I've talked to him. I only talk to him usually when he's around. Other than that, he's he's a really nice guy. Is he I good? Mean, I would have his babies if, if we were Danny Vito. Is he a good friend to you? Yes. Uh, yeah, he's. We we used to skateboard often over over on Walnut Avenue. What do you think about his films, uh, such as Skate? Must I don't think it's come out yet, has it? It has. Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic! <laughs> it's one of his best works yet. I would, I would take my kids to see it. Little, little Johnny. Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>